Peoples of the universe, please attend carefully. The message that follows is vital to the future of you all. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It is vital to the future of us all. Us all. Master, you're one of us. You have to tell it. Yeah. That, that may be the master's greatest mistake. So he, he often forgets he's one of us. You know, you, well, there is there, there there is no individual. You know, we're all... Uh, we are all one oneself. We're yeah, and I actually do kind of believe that to to a great extent. I don't think. I mean, I think we are you know individual consciousness is uh, sort of in this reality, right? But I do think that what divides us uh, uh, is more or less an illusion, you know. And that's, that's kind of one of the things I like about Christmas, right? This the Christmas. I like now we're in like the hangover, like. Oh, that was pretty good. I had uh, I had some stuff in, you know, and uh, yeah, I got. And yeah, you, you're still kind of like in holiday mode, uh, uh, but it's not Christmas anymore. But it's still like ah, uh, getting ready for New Year's. Yeah, another. You know, so yeah, you're you're having a bit bit of a. It's a fun time. This is a bit of a party time. I would say. I would say. Um, but you know, like the uh, the divisions between self that does kind of lessen at this time of year. One second. Is this too hot to drink? So. <coughs> this is a new tea. I'm very excited. It's uh, <coughs> black currant sankara, the black currant blast. I think no, black. I don't know. Smells a bit black currently, so I'm quite excited. I, I can't get ribena here. Actually, I would only drink diet ribena, uh, uh, um, but you can't get that here. Now I do like a bit of ribena. Uh, now I'm in the yeah, now I'm in the mood for some Rabina. That hopefully that this is going to work out. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. We have lots and lots going on. We got the Jody Whittaker interview. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> uh, the ratings are going to be a disaster. The ratings are going to be. Uh, I, uh, I I'm just going off EastEnders being three point five on Christmas Day. Uh, 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 that's pretty bad. I mean, you know, last year it was 5.5. That sounded low to me as well, quite frankly. Shouldn't it be like 8.5? You know, shouldn't it be like, you're like, what? What's going on? Why is it so low? Uh, and I guess because they just keep having, you know, every time they have a guy in it, he says, he always turns out, you know, I'm gay. You know, like, like, oh, every, like, every freaking time. Like, yes, yes, we know, we, yes, we know. The, oh, bro, oh, he's come out as being gay. Oh, he's gay now. Oh, he's gay now. Oh, oh, he's gay. Oh, they're just trying to be gay. Okay, maybe. Oh, she's a lesbian. Uh, yes, we understand it. We understand it. There are some people uh, 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 who like to have sexual intercourse with people of their own gender, you know, and there are other people who like to watch. <laughs> I, I'll let you guess which group the rabbi is in. <laughs> I maybe mean, neither, but, but uh, yeah. Cool. Anyway, let me see. Is it cool not drink it? Mm, nom, 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 nom. It's a bit vanilla -y. vanilla -y, I, I still too hot to drink. Very exciting. Very exciting. I'll let you know. I'll let you know as it cools down. Uh, um, so go to Jody Whittaker. I've done some real research. I, I've categorized the entire... Um, uh, all the big finished releases that I've listened to this year, which is most of them, most of them. it's like how was it, forty-seven releases? Uh, I still haven't finished listening to uh, Wicked Sisters because I didn't really enjoy it. Okay, here's my pocket review of Wicked uh, Wicked Sisters, which is a spoiler-free review. Um, the problem with it is this: it's um, yeah, if you don't know what it is, it's got like the Tracer Twins in it, which were like these uh. Spin-off people from Key to Time. They um, they, they were they were kind of like the tracers of the key. Ah, it was all confusing, but they they were sentient people. And anyway, they basically they're these magic twins who can do anything. Okay, that's essentially who they are. Having slightly adult-ish, adolescent adult adventures in time and space. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's off and on. It's okay. They, they, they haven't been terrible, uh, but they got a very different feeling to Doctor Who. Um, so now this series is. A Peter Davison series, but and he, they use the Peter Davison, uh, you know, uh, theme uh, for it. So he puts in, but then these are like hour long episodes. So I'm and she, he's with Louise Jameson, who they say is older. They say is like Tenko age, Louise Jameson. But on the cover, she looks like Doctor Who age, <laughs> Louise Jameson, right? And there's actually a plot point that she's older in the first disc, which I'm still listening to. But I can't really get through it because I'm just not liking it enough, right? Uh, and because it, it doesn't fit, and so there has to be some kind of like I don't know Christmas special, three part Christmas special, uh, Peter, uh, you know, like uh, uh, in the middle of Colin Baker's run or, or something that like you know that uh, uh, John they like for some reason I don't know why. 
Yeah, so that I mean, like I can kind of like that's it, but it's just so unlikely to have happened, you know. Like, yeah, maybe like in the anniversary year they did this and said, "Well, why would they have done this with the tracer?" And it's very different. It's got like, yeah, instead of a Doctor Who film, it's got like a uh, a flip. Uh, what was that the other side, the flip side, of Dominic Hyde? That kind of vibe to it, Rich. Uh, uh, have you seen that? You see, <laughs> you, you'll get the bread. If you haven't, you haven't. If you haven't, I do recommend it. It's awfully good. Uh, another flip for Dominic is the other one. These were two plays for tomorrow's. Uh, very, and th these were very good. I, d I wish they would release them all on uh, on DVD or Blu ray. Um, but they're like these little one off plays, uh, like sci fi ones. Uh, flip side, Do Dominic Hyde is about this guy who uh, who monitors history and he gets caught up in it and uh. He's very innocent. There's a clash of cultures. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. And Aki has something to say. Uh, lovely performances. Um, and, and yeah, I like the, se the sequel, not as good. The, another flip for Dominic. Oh, getting better. Getting better. I managed to taste it. Uh, um, but it's got, yeah, got a very distinctly different vibe. I'll say closer to Star Cops. Um, them doctor but it's not quite more ethereal but i kind of i get kind of vibe and so that's why i'm not really liking it okay i haven't listened to that i haven't listened to the price of the pimpernel uh i can't make this stuff's got so preachy recently i mean his his oh my god and he, you get a feeling he just likes preaching a lot now and virtue signaling i mean he did that lovecraft story which was basically like yeah we get them to say hello uh, we, we 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 don't like racists we don't like wasters are bad. But, okay, okay. This is SJWs are baby brain morons, essentially. Uh, baby brain morons. Uh, and they uh, and they need to say obvious things very, very loudly to make sure you know that they know. They, you know, racists are bad. It's bad to be a racist. Yes, I know racists are bad. Racists are super bad. Yes, it's bad to be a Nazis are bad. Okay, I'm sure oh, that's uh, me, me demonetized right there. Uh, Yazis are bad. Man. I'll, I'll, I'll try and play my way through it. Yazis are bad. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, yeah, yes, we understand. We have bad people are bad. Yes, yeah, bad. I'm a good person, aren't I? I'm, yes, yes. And that's what it is. I mean, God, it's not like it's very hard to work out what's going on in their tiny little brains, those morons. You know, it's like, yeah, these kids, these kids think they, oh, God, they <laughs> uh, distracted there. Um, so we got um, big finish to go through. Got to talk about uh, Fat Man. That is not a bad movie. I have to say, I, I did, did enjoy that. Not what I expected at all. Um, a Christmas movie without a Christmas vibe. But I, I think I kind of, I think I quite liked it. I think I quite liked it. Um, he's on disc two. Well, da da Daniel's made it first. Me, let me say hello to the chat. I'm not even that far in. Daniel Leach, how are you doing? Hey, Rabbi, I hope next year will be better for all of us. Uh, listen, I don't know what's going to happen, okay? I don't know what's going to happen. I think some crazy shit is going to go down very early on in the year. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. It might just go... I mean, listen, the whole, like, Trumpy stuff, it's, it's been going, like, thus far, right? Yeah, there has been no, like, but everything is like, can we have this case of some recall? No. It's all, everything's fizzled. And it's fizzled out more than I thought it would have. But it does look like there's an opportunity for the shit to super hit the fan, like on the 5th and 6th. I do think there's going to be a weird cocktail of that. Uh, I think that um, uh, election in Georgia, uh, I think the Democrats are going to be behind and then they're going to get a bunch of extra votes in the middle of the night again. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, and then uh, they're going to win. Uh, and listen, I might be wrong. I might be. I, I My only prediction is that I think uh, uh, I doubt that uh, uh, the president-elect will be uh, inaugurated president in America that as we know it, as, as we know it right now. I, I doubt that. I, I do tend to believe it is it is going to be the Trumpster will will prevail uh, in and in the short term, but I don't know that I don't know that, and I predict that on a completely insane prediction model that shouldn't work, but it is pretty much one hundred percent accurate thus far. And, you know, and I've been at this point before, like you know, I've been at this point and said, listen, every piece of logic tells me. That, that that this thing can only go in one direction, which is where I am. You know, every piece of logic tells me, and more so than before, that this thing can only go in one direction. 
but I think it's going to go the other way. <laughs> I, know, I, just, I, know, I, know. I think it's going to go the other way. That's the weird thing about it. Uh, it seems to be, though, it's going to be, it's, he's going against the, okay, okay, here's my, this is, this will not go on for long. This is my, my analysis, right? The difference between the Democrats and Republicans are the others. The Republicans don't want to do anything. That's their, that's their basic drive. That's their DNA core. They just don't want to do anything. They're not like the Tories. Yeah, so, I mean, Torres only really got upwardly mobile with Thatcher, right? But up before Thatcher, the 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 the, the Tories were very much like the like, like the Republicans. They don't really want to do anything under any circumstances. That's really their their goal. So that that's why Reagan was a big you know, kick up the ass for them, uh, and that's why Trump has blown their minds. They hate Trump. They can't stand it. Uh, so they got you got that going on. So it, it, uh, uh, and then you got the uh, Democrats. They like doing stuff. They actually like change. I mean, they like the product, but they like change. They're progressive. They like to progress, you know? So they got their drive. The drawback is that they're, they're, they're batshit crazy. I mean, like, they used to be okay. Like, I was fired by Clinton. You know, that was, I mean, yeah, I, listen, I think he raped all those women and he, you know, he stopped that girl. But, you know, okay. And listen, the economy did well and you played sax. Everything's cool, baby. So uh, um, I was like, yeah, look, but the economy's good. Shut up. It, my, it's the economy. Say. 100% right. One of the smartest things anyone said. It's, it's it. That's all it is. It's the economy. And he's bread and circuses, baby. Um, so, uh, 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 so, but they like it. But they've gone crazy. They're batshit crazy. They're bad. And they hate Jews as well. I mean, they like really super hate Jews, which is like, yeah, listen, I'm a, I am a self-interested guy, but they don't like Jews. They don't like us, right? I mean, they like, they don't like religious Jews. They're, they're kind of okay with their Uncle Tom Jews. You know, they're like, yeah, but they they uh, they don't like it. They're not, they're not real Jew-friendly people. Uh, uh, so you got that going on. So that, that's the, like, so, it, so we're seeing uh, uh, um, Trump having to go to war with his own bloody party because their DNA is so like, listen, I don't care what shit went down. What shit? I am not rocking the boat to this mother extent, right? That's basically what the message has been from everybody. Like, I, I like, I'm not doing it. I'm not going. Have you ever seen Apocalypse Now? Why well, Apocalypse Now is my favorite movie. That movie is uh, uh, um, like frame by frame perfect. Frame by, I, I watch it and it's like you're watching a master craftsman at its absolute absolute best and most insane uh francis football coppola you can tell him you can feel him picking the lenses out for each shot i mean it's like it's freaking perfect you can pause it anywhere love that movie anyway so there's a bit in it the the big uh, uh, uh helicopter attack on uh on the the vietnam being cop base right uh, as it's just most incredible cinematic thing filmed it using the philippine um uh the philippine uh, helicopter, whatever, like Navy, right? And they kept going off to fight a real revolution that was going on, right? That actually happened. So, like, this incredible scene. So they get, you get this one bit in it, right, where uh, uh, about, I mean, about two-thirds of the way through, they start landing people, right? Uh, and, the, and, you know, you see these choppers top down, and they're playing, like, Wagner. It's freaking incredible. So absolutely, I think well, you know, honestly, one probably one of the best pieces of cinema of all time. In my in like my favorite, right? If I was like Alien said, listen, we're gonna say one moment of cinema is gonna be that. I'm like, yeah, if that that's the way it's gonna be. You know, it'll be that 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 scene. Anyway, so you, this cat holy cat of cuts down, and, and, the, and the soldiers start getting up, right? and you have this one kid. He's like, starts reading, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. And there's another guy comes in and ranks him off, right? Uh, um, so the kid goes, I'm not going. That is the Republican Party, right? They're like, oh, what the fuck is happening? Leave me alone, right? Now, what they don't understand, however, what they don't understand that if they don't fight, they're dead. This is, this is, they're in it for it's a fight for their life, and they don't know it. Like McConnell doesn't know he's in a fight for his life. They're going for your throat. 
they go they'll keep you around as like as like a house uh you know the but like they're going for your throat they have control forever it's never going to change if they get away with it if there's anything got got away with yeah well the, here's the trouble here's the trouble. i believe yeah there was some skull talking about it. I have no idea. It's my personal hunch, right? My personal hunch. I have no evidence that well, I've seen things that people say are evidence, like lawyers, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. They say these affidavits are evidence. Okay, so that seems like evidence. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not again, I'm not a legal scholar. It, it, just, so I've asked the asked, say, is it is, is a sworn affidavit evidence? And generally speaking, yes, it is. It is. is lots of them evidence? Yeah, yeah, generally speaking, yes. Okay, so that's basically what they're saying they have. I, I don't know if they do have those, but that's what they're saying they have. And video footage, which I've personally seen. And yeah, I, look, listen, all you gotta do, all you gotta do to get everybody calmed down is real simple. It's real simple. You just got to explain why that big jump thing in the votes was normal, right? In the middle of the night when no one was watching, when you when you kicked out all the GOP one for I mean, you've all you just got to show show the people how that was normal. If and, and if it was normal, it'll be far. Just show us as it and everybody will shut. Everybody will shut up. I would drop Trump at that point. I'd be like, yeah, no, nah, okay, I, yeah, I would. I think that's reasonable. Like if that's normal, that's normal. I don't bloody know, but you're not doing that. You're going, there's nothing to see here. What? What? What evidence? I'm like, well, well, that stuff. Yeah. Like, so I, that's freaking me out a bit. That's freaking me out. But anyway, so my uh, my, my take is, <laughs> so uh, uh, what's going to happen? So uh, I think they're going to, the Democrats are going to overextend their hand and take Georgia, uh, forcing the Republicans into a fight. Um which we can only go down if, <laughs> if this is how crazy it is, okay? This is how crazy it is. The person who counts the votes is Mike Pence. He is the person who counts the votes. Now, the Republicans say, oh, well, the Trumpsters say, uh, 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 it's, uh, um, it's, it, it, that's it. He's, it, his right to choose. He is a gavel. He is a judge. He is a final bloody word. The uh, Democrats say, yeah, it's, uh, uh, no, you're just a rubber stamp boy. Shut up. The uh, Constitution pretty much says he can do what he wants. From what, for, uh, again, I don't know, I don't know. So there are competing electors from these contested states. He could say, I'm not reading any. I'm going to read them, take the Republican. Electors. He could do crazy shit. Crazy. Could do. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I, I tend to believe something's going to happen that's going to make uh, 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 Trump to come out on top. I, I tend to believe that. Uh, uh, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. January 20th, my may roll around and everything may be totally normal, and I am wrong. I am wrong. I'm going to be surprised if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. But I, I might be. Might be. It happens. <laughs> so... Either way, either way, I, mean, look, I, I think in the early early days of the next year, we're going to see some kind of dissolution of the United States of America, maybe temporarily, maybe permanently, maybe not at all. Uh, but we're seeing going to see some kind of civil wrenching. Uh, what that will do to the world, I don't bloody know. I, I, I'm surprised we're still here, quite frankly. I'm surprised there's still an economy. I, I can't. I, 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 I'm surprised people are freaking out now and not six months ago. I, I, okay, well, okay, but I'm surprised we're still here, right? I'm surprised we're not on basic, like from uh, uh, what's that show, The Expanse? I like that show. That is a class show, The Expanse. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, um, uh, so I, I, it just, I just don't see the, you know, the, the. the there's about, I reckon there's there's millions of people ready to take arms, right? I think there are millions of people ready to take arms. I might be wrong about that. But if they're ready to do it, they might actually do it. It might actually. So that's what we got coming up in the next couple of months, okay? That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. So next year, I don't know what's going to be. I don't, but here's the thing: you don't know the domino effects from all these things like this. As I, I'm no, well, it's not unknowable by me. I was going to say it's unknowable by me. Uh, 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 but all, all, all I can tell you is this: uh, uh, me, me, and my little puppy. <laughs> Daisy, you're gonna be fine. Oh my god, my puppy is so cute. 
It's so insanely sweet. Uh, I, I can't tell you how cute she is. She's ever seen such a sweet little puppy. It's a uh, oh, second. Let me, uh, uh, <laughs> what's this thing my wife sent me today? Hang on, hang on. It was over here. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> we share the screen. Ah. Uh, she went to sleep uh, 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 in my uh, in my wife's arms like a little baby. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Here you are. <laughs> I think it's so good. She's got a face like a womble, which is the which is the crazy. What's this one here? Oh, we'll, have a, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. If I've seen it, I'm sorry. I know I'm like a new parent. Okay, I am. Oh, there I am. Ah, look at her. She's out, out cold. Oh, she's so cute. Let's see if I can find any of her awake. Oh no, that's not, that's too weird. I can't show you that. <laughs> What's this one? There you go. There you go. There you go. That's got a little personality. That's really just right. That's exactly what she's like. There you go. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, uh, that's Daisy. <laughs> that's the Daisy. So, bye. Let's get back to the chat. I'm so behind. Hey, Rabbi. I hope next year uh, will be better for us. That's what we'll get me onto that. Uh, for us, mate. So, that uh, I hope eventually it will be. Uh, and please continue to make your awesome content. My awesome content. You're, you had a great stream last night. You had a fantastic stream last night. I loved your stream. Ah, uh, you should do more streams. You should do more. Uh, disaster. How you doing? Uh, uh yeah your QA was great it was good uh charlotte shells how you doing jonathan cox your uh your time dark star I do like your name carl lynch uh times of uh the times of wayne Chiang, retro dicky uh derek mcmanus is in the house uh carla norton oh man just jump carla norton that was the last name i saw carla norton how you doing there we go I am. Uh, I'm not doing. I'm not doing so bad. I'm. I'm normally more behind this. Mr. Hilvis, uh, sweet. Are you uh, correct about the GA? Uh, I think you're correct about. The, yeah, I do. I think Skull Dudley is gonna is, is going a foot right, and I think uh, I think that's what's gonna. I I I don't know. I listen. If you wonder how miracles work, look at miracles, right? And now there are things that are like legitimately miracles. There's uh. Uh, six day war. Okay, yeah, let's go for the the Yom Kippur war, the seventy two war, right? Which is uh, uh, one miracle. Which is uh, uh, essentially it was a disaster, uh, utter disaster for Israel, utter disaster. It was Israel was very very complacent after uh, the sixty seven war five years earlier, right? Uh, and uh, so that brilliant guy, tell you that guy, freaking freaking genius, right? Lot of respect for Sadat. because uh, that because he beat us, and then we beat we got lucky, and, and he made peace with us. Smart, I'm telling it. Smart, he got killed for his trouble. Uh, uh, but you know, other than that, smart guy uh, did more for Egypt than uh, than I think anybody I can think of. Anyway, it is Sadat. I think I'm thinking of right, right, right. So anyway, so basically what happened was uh uh like we had all these like we had the we had the complete supremacy we thought of the region. Uh, uh, uh and like we had the Nile um we had this thing set up on the, I'll give it one example. We had things set up on the Nile that uh, uh these these massive things of oil that we could just open them, we in Israel, open them and set them on fire and make any advance that way pretty much impossible, right? Um uh, so uh, 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 and that was good. That was like, like the first uh, line of defense. So the uh, news of the invasion, invasion was coming in from a bunch of sides, right? And news of the, the invasion was coming in. They issued the order. Uh, a, uh, a, a, I think, I think it was the Egyptian commando squad. I'm probably getting all these details wrong. I think I'm pretty sure. It was no Jordanian. It was a uh, Jordanian commando squad had uh, had swam in and swam in. And cemented shut the uh, the um, the faucets, the faucets, making them you know an Like it was an utter disaster, utter disaster after utter disaster after utter disaster. Right? And we 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 were set to be 
destroyed. And when I say destroyed, not dissolved as a country, massacred. It would have been the end, right? I mean, we we were in trouble. Um, and then, so they, they cut Israel in half, right? They came in from Jerusalem, cut Israel in half, right? This was on Yom Kippur, uh, the holiest day of the Jewish year, yeah, everything in, uh, 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 in synagogue, um, which actually allowed everybody to mobilize very, very quickly, right? And it was Yom Kippur. Poor, right? Like, you can't, you need to pray because that's really what, what it was. Uh, they got halfway through, no resistance, right? No resistance, like, they got completely through. Uh, uh, and then I mean, like, they plow through anything. Uh, and so, uh, um, and then they stopped. Then they stopped because they said, this, this is crazy, this is this is a trap. And they got, uh, and they needed satellite photography, so they called to Russia. It took, it took uh, what was it? 24 hours to see we had nothing. <laughs> nothing! Okay, no, 24 hours. So in that time, we 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 able to we we fortified and miracle upon miracle, we pushed them back, right? <laughs> Otherwise we wouldn't be dead. So uh um that's what miracles look like, right? Miracles look pretty shitty until afterwards. So that's uh, that's you got to look at what miracles look like. I mean, there's six day war, six day war. That's one really worth studying in detail, right? And crazy, man. They uh, uh, we were dead. We were the disaster after disaster after disaster. They had us cut off. We were dead. We were dead. Okay. Then no. So the uh, Aaron Dyer. It was it Aaron. No, it wasn't Aaron Dyer. It was uh, Aaron Dyer calls the other. Um, whoever was in charge of the 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 air force uh, um, committed suicide, right? Not literally committed military suicide. He uh, the the everything's about numbers, right? Everything's about numbers. Uh, he committed a uh, uh, incredibly large for it, it, it is basically the totality of, of the Israeli air forces to one attack, <laughs> to one attack, right? And we uh, we sustained uh, uh, insanely low casualties and in uh, uh, created a, an incredible uh, uh, um, uh, effect, you know, line, line of defense. Uh, basically, we blew up the, I think, the Egyptian air force on the ground. And then they went on and did it to the Jordanian air force. Like, it was, Six Day War was, uh, it, okay, Six Day War ended up, <laughs> I'm not, this is, this is true. Uh, um, the In the old city of, of, of Jerusalem, somewhere that's been cut off, the, that's where the Western War is, that's where the Jewish temple used to be, and, and I believe will be again or sometime. Uh, well, uh, um, it's a holy fire, and it's been cut off from Jews for, for hundreds of years, hundreds of years. Uh, uh, certainly, but it hasn't been under Jewish sovereignty for two thousand years. Two thousand years, and getting under Jewish sovereignty—that's kind of messianic, right? That's crazy. So it was the paratroop. Paratroopers were the first ones in, right? And it was the chief rabbi who went in with them. Blow, okay, on Rosh Hashanah, you have the thing called, called a chauffeur, right? Uh, chauffeur's like this ram's horn. You, you know, it's kind of like from Lord of the Rings. It's the things the Ewoks had, right? And he was blowing the show, walking down to the window, blowing the chauffeur as they as they 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 took it. It was crazy. People, there was right before this holiday called uh, Shavuot, uh, which and people just thought the Messiah was going to come, right? Guess not. <laughs> I was in sixty-seven, right? That's it. I was born in seventy-one. Okay, so that's uh, uh, if it was me. I'm sorry. What can you do? My uh, I got there as quick as I could, uh, 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 but that's what miracles look pretty shitty until they happen right miracles look like okay most most miracles look like oh this is it isn't it okay <laughs> and i and you you really want like uh what was it uh, uh the prototypical uh, the prototypical miracle is the splitting of the dead sea if you go for bible study uh uh and that only happened when uh, a bit, one guy was so freaked out and so uh, he believed in God so much, he ran into the mother sea, right, and and got up to his nose, saying, "This is listen, logic is logic. Uh, God says he's going to save him." Then things split. Okay, that's a, yeah, that's uh, 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 that's what faith. Is. So that's what miracles are. Miracles are. So uh, um, to me, things look a little bit like this is not, it's, it's less possible than when I was predicting miracles. Uh, they're more, more possible. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, um, so I guess that's what miracles look like. Or could be what it looks like before you get your ass handed to you. Either way.
Uh, I, I, you know, I just don't see all those people going down without a fight. Okay, but bottom line, I, I don't see them going down without a fight. Um, so best case scenario, it's, it's fifty cuts, right? So that could be. Um, uh, that and rather be just about something like 2020. That is true. Uh, you have technical issues, so is it me? You're pixelating or buffering, baby, baby. Uh, listen, listen, I've been, uh, I've been high before. Uh, I've never picked, actually, I have picked, <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I never picked, like, no, uh, apparently, here's the thing, here's the thing that really is, is quite amazing. If you ever do, uh, uh, mushrooms or LSD, you will find out. It kind of looks like cheap 1970s uh, 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 special effects and you know, things they did on top of the pops. It's kind of what it looks like. It was like, really? Wow. You would have thought. You would have thought it'd be more, you know, yellow submarine. No, really isn't. Um, a very good depiction of uh, of, of uh, LSD visions, I would say, in comic books is um, uh, Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum. Uh, Dave McKean and Gra uh, 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 Grant Morrison. Probably, probably the one. Of, I am not sure. Uh, Dave McKean. Certainly, Grant Morrison's probably. Ah, uh, Grant Morrison. I like the Invisibles. I think Invisibles are good. I think uh, the filth is good. It's okay. I mean, I liked. Uh, like very much the TV show this year, uh, uh, Brave New World. Mr. Elvis, 69, how are you doing? Uh, so I don't know is the answer to the question. Gerald Lang, how are you? Uh, I've enjoyed the last of four or five main range leagues. Oh, man. No. No. Main range is sucking balls. I'm going to show you, like, okay, I'm going to finish the chat, and then we're going to do that first. Uh, Torres, uh, uh, 86 ma majority. Yeah, well, that's not because they were good. It's because Corbin was like, ha, ha, ha. I mean, right? Like, how much more could he be, really? Like, I mean, like, how how, like, how could he work harder to not show off he was a crazy nutball socialist racist? I mean, really? Just keep it to yourself a bit. No, no. Hey, everybody. Hi. I'm a socialist nutball racist. Oh, yeah, you know, we know, we know, Jeremy. No, really? Here, look at this picture of me from 1972 eating a Jewish baby. Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I got more. I got, you know, okay, fine. Okay. And then the, uh, and then they're really behind me going, you know, he, not, he doesn't have a racist bone in his body, you know. Really? Oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. That's a, that's a strange, strange reaction. Strange reaction for somebody without a racist bone in his body. So, yeah, yeah. It's okay. So, not because they were any good. <laughs> uh, they could do so much besides putting us under. Yeah, exactly. 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 Listen, look, people, also, people are basically cowards, you know. I really found that out. I didn't really, I didn't think I was brave, but then I found out I was. <laughs> you know, like people are scared to speak up, right? Uh, 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 I don't know. Like, why? Like, what's like, I don't know. Especially on Twitter. People are like scared and like, 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 a bit or in this, you know, I keep inviting the nut my doctor crazies on because I just want like, I guess, I just have a feeling that people may be saying, like, even the Tom Vance guy. Like, he seems sane. I don't know. Other than being a complete nutball. Like, you know, I, I I mean, I think he's just taking the piss, really, isn't he? I really can't tell. Really genuinely can't. But I keep inviting them on. They're like, oh, oh no. Oh. I'm mean, like, what do you think I'm going to do? Like, do you think I'm going to mind control you over the bloody airways? Like, like, what do you think I'm going to do? I, I, you know what I'm going to do. All I can do is make you look stupid if you are stupid. Here's, here's your defense, right? Here's your defense against looking stupid. Don't be stupid. If you think, listen, if you think it's stupid saying a woman's got a, a, a penis, then think it's stupid, right? It's okay. Don't say things that you think are stupid. Like men, generally speaking, don't menstruate. If you start saying men menstruate, you sound a bit stupid, right? Not hard to understand. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. So, um... Uh, I don't know how I got there. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Main range. Oh, no. Main range not doing so bad. Uh, oh, uh, three reviews in. Uh, the key word to describe a uh, special is low-key benefit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, yeah, that, that doesn't sound good, does it? Like, it does sound like they're killing off Graham, doesn't it? I mean, like, Really? That's that's dumb of them, but okay, I guess whatever. Uh, Charlotte Chills, how are you doing? We saw a change uh, in the press reporting recently, uh, actually admitting that uh, it is not it is not doing uh, it is not doing well. Sounds like 
reviews might be more negative as well. Oh, God, yeah, I know. I, that's why I, look, I've been saying this all about a year that it's become the show it's okay to take the piss out of, right? Jim Payne IRA, uh, don't like Juicy. Well, that is also, yeah, well, they're all together, aren't they? I don't know what it is. But, you know, like, okay, a barometer is somebody who's a bad guy if they don't like, if they especially don't like Jews, right? Most normal people are all like, yeah, Jews, what the hell? Who cares? I'll get my taxes on. Leave me alone. Yeah, I, who cares, right? Most normal people, but, like, yeah, you, <laughs> it's, all, it's always the Jews. Like, what is up with that? They are so weird. Um, yeah, big fan of him, fat, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. Uh, I still need to see that film. What film are we talking about? Uh, oh, um, uh, uh, if we're talking about uh, Fat Man, yeah, awesome, really, it's so weird. Uh, and the Deer Hunter, yeah, they're pretty similar, actually. Um, Ray Ray said, Democracy died in US 20. Well, you there. Uh, another four years less of Trump wasn't worth exactly. Uh, Texas might be the first state to go along. Yeah, I think I agree with you completely. I just don't think there's any chance of Texas going down. I just don't. Look, I might be wrong. I've been wrong about a bunch of stuff, but I just don't see it happening. Uh, a visiting journalist a few years ago said that Derry was the most. <laughs> Blimey. Well, okay then. I'll, I'll, I'll keep over here then. Um, tell him, how are you doing? Uh, the I'm not go guy was Lancer. So was he really? Get out of here! Can't tell you how many times I've seen that movie. Love that movie. That was really Lance. <laughs> he was the only one who survives, basically. Uh, uh, Nathan Norman, how you doing? Uh, going to have to 86 China. Uh, before then, so we could ha only have to deal with Russia. Yeah, exactly. No, I wouldn't, you know, I don't, uh, 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 you know, endorse violence. By the way, by the way, I just thought, yeah, let me just show this off. Maybe talk about the thumbnail. I realized what I should have done on the thumbnail beforehand. Uh, I mean, after I went live with it, one second. Here we go, opening up. Uh, did anybody see the video I put about Gail Simone getting involved in fandom? I was like, really? Really, no, darling. Stay, stay. Better problem being got in there. So okay. So she say, "E, I wonder if Santa will come down the chair, come down the TARDIS chimney and give me what I asked for." So the one that should have been, he, he, he should be, she should have been saying, "Ooh, Santa, are you here to give me my Christmas wish?" Because that would have taken up less room in the speech bubble, which is always good. Trying to make them bigger so make it more easeable. And then I would have the uh, Mel Gibson Santa. I highlighted his gun there, made it like him. <laughs> He's sort of in there. Nope, I'm here to give the. Uh, it says no. I'm here to give Doctor Who fans what they asked for instead. Uh, so I would say nope. I'm here to give Doctor Who fans their Christmas wish. Now, face forward and close your eyes. <laughs> and yes, thank, thank you, Santa. That would be a wonderful gift. Of course, nobody's espousing violence. Yes, maybe, maybe if there's some way of murdering this fictional, uh, 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 I would say uh, uh, a 13th incarnation of Doctor Who. Going back in time, doing another one. I'll be up for that. I would be up for that. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so uh, 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 the alien Godzilla will arrive. All right. I'm, I'm with Godzilla. I'm with Godzilla then. Now you talk me into it. Um, uh, China, North Korea, and many third world African countries uh, wish they could fix their elections. Like, yes, they did, didn't they? It's been a big embarrassment. Uh, does. Uh, Lonnie Webb is here. Uh, well, I, how far behind am I? Okay, about 20 minutes behind. Uh, Raymond Williams, I've said hello to you. But, oh, just dumb, 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 dumb. Uh, Jonathan Cox is here. I think, yeah, okay, I'm good. Jonathan Cox. So I'm missing anybody. Let me go back. I think I missed uh, a couple of minutes there. Okay, I'm not, okay, if I see my name, I'm stopping, right? Uh, Corbin friends with them. Good, I know. Uh, now this is just reminding me. I'm going, hey, I was good. Yeah, that was a good idea. I'm glad I said that. Um, and now I'm reviewing myself. Dr. Scott 2 is here. Uh, Hawkeye Pierce from MASH. Uh, Fra uh, uh, um, Frank, do you know what a... Uh, oh, do you know what here he is? 90 time, 99 times out of 100, he's somebody who's tired enough and cold enough and hungry enough to uh, to not give a damn. Uh, I don't give her, I don't give them. Yeah, basically, Camaro Zero could have been so much better. The moon is there. Yeah, well, that is true. 
Well, uh, Hagcroft, how are you, sir? P.D. Rich, how are you? Uh, here we are. Okay, we're getting close. I'm actually catching up. I'm actually catching up. Uh, Nathan Norman says, ah, oh, man, Nathan uh, Gail Simone rolled her ass out of bed long enough and then tried to wreck another van and maybe, yeah, that should have been the headline as well. Maybe we'll get lucky and die a beautiful girl. Oh, I couldn't put that on. Being being a, a, a rotund gentleman myself, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do that. Um... Do, do, do. I think, I think, yeah, it's we're up to date. We're up to date. So fine, let me pull this up. Let's talk about a bit of big finish action here. So uh, I'll show you my my very clever mailing uh, filing system. I just wrote myself emails, right? And this one I didn't even send. It's just a draft. So uh, is it a draft, sir? There we go. This, this is the version. Okay, it's opening up. Fine, and I will talk you through it. I'll talk because the data is actually very interesting, right? The data really uh, uh, supports the uh, choices they have made. Fine. So there you go. Fine. So basically, here's what I did. I wrote out uh, in this first list anyway. I wrote out the uh, 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 every release right uh, in the in each different range and color coded them. So the main range is red. Uh, the fourth Doctor range is green. The uh, Doctor Who related box sets are blue. Um, the Time of Victorious is purple. And non Doctor Who related box sets are black, right? So they're easier to identify, right? And then I went through them all and I scored them. And the uh, information is, 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 uh, is indeed quite interesting. So let's have a look. You gotta find this. So then, so yeah, the air, this is them in order. So I can so so let's talk about the 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 best releases of the year. Uh, uh yeah, fine. You know what? So let me close that one second, and I'll open up Big Finish, and we'll go to those releases. There we go, BigFinish.com. Oh, I just wrote Bog. Oh, BigFinish.com. There we go. Yeah, I can really do with another season on Tour Capaldi. Ah, uh, he's in the side been off another doctor. They're three. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, do, you, do you think they killed Hartnell? I think Hartnell's. Uh, uh, I think Hartnell's old age was more killed him. Um, his old body's getting a bit tired, right? Uh, yeah, big finish. He was still killed by Cybermen. One second. Uh, Timeless did Troughton. Uh, per, uh, Spiders did Pertwee, Master did uh, um, uh, Baker, uh, what's his name? Did uh, Androzani, uh, did uh, uh, Davison, um, Colin Baker, the Rani, Sylvester McCoy, Gangsters, uh, Cicero Khan, eighth doctor, uh, um, the ninth doctor super power thing from the dark, the heart of the TARDIS, uh, tenth doctor, tenth doctor wasn't the side, no, was uh, the master, eleventh doctor. Well, the Cyberman, right? They yeah, that wooden Cyberman doesn't really, he wasn't the Cyberman. Eh, fine, I'll let it go, I'll let it go. Uh, fine. So let's do let's go let's do the um let's do the how many one, two, three, four. Let's do the top. I know. One, two, three, four. I'll do the top five releases. Top five releases are number five. I cheat a little bit in this. Number five. It's uh, here we go over here. We do sort by uh, recent first. There we go. There we go. Is this the one? Yes. So uh, uh, this the overall score for this set. Okay, I gave this one a night. The, the there's one story on here I gave a nine, and one story I gave a seven. The overall score for the set was there for an eight. Uh, but this story, uh, Poison of Daleks, probably one of the best um, third Doctor uh, uh, Dalek stories I've ever heard. 
with the brigadier in it and uh uh like native it's like it's, john carter's brigadier fantastic I mean, let's listen to the trailer it's probably worth it any second now from big finish productions do you really think it's not safe my dear joe if the place does go up it's liable to be with an explosion so large couldn't outrun it now if we tried. Doctor Who, The Third Doctor Adventures, Volume 6. Oh, great. Activate. We will bring this country to its knees. My willing servants, heed my words and I shall tell you what you must do. I shall yeah, tell that's you the other story that isn't very good. More. It's okay. I very much like your cape. You cut a dash, sir. You have quite a silhouette. Mr. Churchill, it's an honor. And you, madam, must be Joe Grant. We are going to take the fight to the enemy and make them regret the day they never came here. Yeah! Alex will rule the day, mark my words. Oh, a bit of brig action. No, I assumed you'd want to see one of our core security measures in practice. Well, it does sound very effective. You see, your sergeant has an open mind on progress. Yes, I'm sure you're a shining example to us all, Benton. Sure. Sir. Sorry, sir. I know one thing. What? The universe would be a much worse place without him. So, so I'm not just doing it for me or the doctor. I'm doing it for everyone he's ever helped and everyone he's going to help in the future. Now, here's what I want you all to do. First, we need to find a Dalek. These words are meaningless. Your commander won't want me killed. Scan me. This is the Dalek Supreme. Prepare for the invasion of Earth. You will operate the Earth. You'll not believe. Well, I'll bless another extermination from your lot. Thank you. Carry on, sir. Dismiss. Yeah, I have to say, I have to say my, that is my th my favourite third Dalek, uh, third Doctor Dalek story. Uh, John Cotter's Brigadier, absolutely freaking perfect. I really recommend this set. It's very, very good. Uh, so that was uh, number five. Number four is actually a cheat. This is actually the same as uh, uh, number five. Number five. How did I get to it? Um, one second. Does it have its own section? Yeah, I'll go for what's new, and I'll go back a couple of months. One. Uh, is it this month? Oh, yeah, it's the one. So this one. Uh, uh, this had one very, very good story on it, and one very, very mediocre story on it. A uh, very good story is uh, Lesser Evils. A uh, very mediocre story is Master Thief. It's uh, John Kosher again. Uh, uh, very, it's a very good uh, rendition of the most. Let's have a quick listen. This one should uh, o load up a bit quicker. Oh, I, I would have thought, you know, it's a, it's a shorter disc. You need the, uh... no, no, it's not even not thinking about it. Wow, I'll leave it there for a second. Quick look, see what I'm missing in the chat. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're talking, yeah, okay, I see you're talking about what the. Uh, oh, there you go. Big Finish Productions. The soft shine of the glass caught another creature, an immaculate bearded figure, carrying the blue cylinder under one arm. The master. Doctor Who, Time Lord Victorious. Short trips. Master Thief. You had the most glowing recommendation, she told him. The Advocate General is a good friend, he demurred. In fact, the Master had met the old woman just once, for all of five minutes. She recommended you to, I mean, the repository, your personal cell. Turning a corner, two guards stood in his way. They raised their weapons as the Master raised his. Yeah, his look, his dog guard wasn't bad, I can tell you. Reverberated down the dark passageway. More guards came running to intercept, and he cut them down without mercy. 
Just the story's not very good. I mean, it's okay. Lesser evils. Death descended on the planet Alexis. One bright and crisp, clear morning. The Katuru now bent and placed her hands on top of the dense litter of the forest floor. The creatures of and in the ground were drawn to her warmth and power. They came to her voluntarily. She brushed the carapace of a tiny globular bug and constrained it to a lifespan of weeks. A most intriguing species, said the man in black velvet. The woman didn't flinch, but incredibly, she hadn't known he was there. I take it, he said agreeably, eyes now on the woman, that I have the pleasure of addressing a due representative of the all-hallowed Katuru. I yeah. am your humble servant. He's here, he's a good Ainley. He is. Bowed. Though there was something playful and sincere in his movement. Did he dare to mock her? Now that I have your attention, <laughs> big finish. We love stories. Yeah, I'd say I preferred his Ainley to his Delgado a lot. I think I, I think I was. Uh, um, but the floor is also really good. It actually, I, I see only bit time of Victoria, so I, I can say I actually genuinely enjoyed. Fine. So we got uh, next one. They're holding number three slot. How do I get to it? Go this way, maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to go there. Bit of Blake 7 action. Restoration Part 3. So uh, this took a long time coming. It was a six months late because this is the only one that Paul Darrow didn't record, right? Um, he Did he record the, the previous one? He did record the previous one, right? So what they did was it was that they had they, it was a really clever um, uh, uh, idea. They basically had him like injured and placed in the suspended animation flask thing uh, at the end of the last one. Uh, and uh, um, he, yeah, he's essentially uh, out of commission. They give, they give the lines to other people and his absence is explained and it works. So you can imagine it being in the TV show. Uh, he, then they, they bring him back at the end, uh, reusing lines they've he's recorded before. Works seamlessly. Uh, really good, and it's a good three good stories as well. It's a good conclusion to the uh, 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 to the series. They did two seasons in between stories, uh, and they're all very good. So, quick listen. See if they had Paul Darrow in it in the trailer. If they they, they should have Paul Darrow in the trailer. But yeah, this uh, this restoration series absolutely fantastic. I loved it. I like the series before it as well. Um, Cross was it Big Finish Productions, Blake Seven. Restoration, part three. He's taking it hard, Tarrant. Aren't we all? Villa and Callie knew him the longest. I know, but that doesn't really matter much, does it? With Avon gone... Everything changes? You know it does. Slowly, silently, without anyone knowing, the Quonar parasite took over all the ship's systems. By the time you realised something was wrong, by the time Avon realised something was wrong, it was too late. You could at least try to keep your head down. How many do you see? I don't know. My eyes are stinging from the dust. Two over the ridge there, two more, at least four, but there are probably more cowards skulking in the shadows. There I was, lost and alone on the verge of dying, and then walked zero off. You weren't going to die. So you say you've trapped me here, haven't you? Try to finish me off once and for all. Out to one. Can you hear me? Out to one. Oh, I was gonna say, I think Taran really sounds good in this. The Quona are the enemy. Mr. President. I might have known. Oh, really? Oh, I hate to be so predictable, Tarrant. But here I am. And here, it must be noted, are you. Welcome to the Imperium Project. Tell us, I'll talk about who owns it in a second. Avon never trusted me. 
I tricked him on Hyperion and lied to you and the others. And now we've lost everything. The president has finally won. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Wow. We love stories. Oh, I thought they were going to put Paul Darren in the in the, uh, in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, it was a good. It was. It was a good. It, it, was a, it was a very strong release. It was a strong release. It was a. What What I really liked about it was it finished off the series really, really well. It um. Uh, it tied all the loose ends together. It brought all the themes together, and you just you felt like you got two complete seasons in in between those episodes. They also did another uh, like box set as well. I think that was called. Was that called Crossfire? Oh, I can't remember. But they 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 put out six box sets. Uh, no, seven box sets. They're all very good. They're, I and it's a really good. If you like Blake Seven, they're really good. If you never heard Blake Seven, uh, it's worth checking out. It really is. It's really good. Uh, maximum power. Yeah. So who owns it? You got to listen to Dan's podcast. Um, um, not Walk Driver. What's it called again? Dan has a Blake. So uh, as Type Forty uh, as a chat as a as a very good uh, uh podcast. It's about three or four episodes. I know, talking about Blake Seven, uh, John Ainsworth is his one. He talks about um, who owns Blake Seven now. He he gives a full breakdown of it. Fine. So the number two slot, number two slot is um, I will actually, I will actually say they're tied for number one because they're both really excellent. So how do I how do I find this? Uh, how do I do just do this? This is this one. This is my number two release for the year. Uh, absolutely excellent. Uh, Donna, Noble, uh, Donna Noble Kidnap. So, you know, they're going to say when it, when it gets terrible ratings, I, I, I think it's going to get the lowest ratings. And uh, we're talking about uh, Revolution of the Dalek. I think it's going to get the lowest rating of any Doctor Who story ever. And that's, that's only if it... Uh, 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 doesn't be EastEnders, right? So, like, so it, yeah, if it if it be, if it gets the same as EastEnders, it it will might squeak one one of the lowest, but not the lowest. But if it gets the same rate, if it gets less than EastEnders, which is normally it does, right? It normally gets at least what was it uh, at least a third less? <laughs> you know, like yeah, you know, I it's gonna get under under three million, which will be uh, hilarious. So they're going to say whatever the whatever the rating. They're going to say, well, the TV viewing audiences are so much lower now. That's correct. They are low. You know why they're low? Because they just make shit. That's why. Because they just make shit, and people don't want to watch shit. You know? And when they don't make shit, they call it all creatures great and small, and people bloody watch it. People like call the midwife. People like things that aren't shit. But everything you make now is shit. So yes. TV viewing audiences are down because they're bored of your shit. So the, here's, here's what I, I, I would say. Why don't they just make a, and they're not obviously not going to, if they just made a TV version of this miniseries, this four-part miniseries starring Catherine Tate with a uh, cameo in it for the, with Dave, the, David Tennant, the, or, you know, just do exactly this, exactly this. It will get ratings of about 8, 9 million, right? And you know why? Because it's really good. It's really good people, people you like and are interesting with good stories. And it's not it's not woke and it's not a fascist, right? It's, it's just it's neither, right? It's just people being people without trying to say anything other than this is a fun story. So how many episodes are you get in this? It is uh oh four parts. Okay, you get uh uh, the uh, out as well by Jack and Wayne. I remember the quite good Do Donna's home, but she's not quite herself. Sylvia has some ideas to bring her uh, out of herself, involving an old friend of speed dating. It's kind of fun as uh, schoolgirl BFF Donna and Natalie get uh, reacquainted. A uh, mysterious stranger, uh, uh, dogs their footsteps. Is the doctor keeping tabs on her, or is the truth a far more sinister? A spin of vision Donna and Nat have been stolen along with the TARDIS, and they find themselves. Crash landing on an alien world. A planet, Valdebecki, is a very successful invasion already underway. Uh, and has one of the best PR uh, firms uh, that Donna ends up working for. It's really funny. The Sorcerer, trying to get home, Donna and Nat end up in the right place at the wrong time. The Middle Ages, uh, a, uh, a monastery is under siege from, a, from, the, burning, uh, from the burning nights. 
and a great source, uh, uh, source of Parvel calls the assistance of the other great mage. Uh, he has summoned Merlin himself, or as Nat uh, knows, uh, Donna Noble. And finally, the Chiswick uh, Cuckoos, uh, Donna's home. This, this wraps up, up the story. We should not quite ourselves. Silver Cook could have be more pleased to see her daughter getting on and finally getting on with life. But uh, an alien plot is is uh, uh, is, is, near, is nearing completion. The world uh, world's needs saving. The Doctor is nowhere to be found. So it's all up to Donna and Nat. Really, really, really fun little series. It's, it's the the uh, um, the trailer, uh, and, and you know it's got it's kind of, it's like Doctor Who meets Minder. It's just fun. I want to hear everything. All right, G and T, catch up first. Gorgeous guys afterwards. You have returned. I shall inform the others. And what's that? Alien Grace Pindley Shaw. Not one I've met. So you signed me up for speed dating. There was a leaflet through the door yesterday, and there was a leaflet through the door on Tuesday. Asking if we want our gutters cleaned, but guess what? Still got dirty gutters. Definitely handsome, and definitely not my type. I'm steering well clear of skinny boys in suits. Where are we? Quite shiny, lots of buttons, probably a spaceship. Oh, yeah, if you look out there, you can see the Earth. Are there red people on the skateboards? Again, depends where you go, if it's been a hot summer, so probably not. What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done, Gansack? Oh, um. Well, my mother once caught me scrumping in the neighbor's garden. I got a right hiding that day, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, and I suppose I did also immolate the entire population of the planet clean. Ah, oh, if it's any consolation, I doubt they're aiming at us specifically. They can't know where we are. Well, that doesn't help. I have summoned thee, time mage. You dare summon me? I have need of you, Merlin. Your Your grandfather's shooting fire from his fingertips, and you're asking me if I have any healing magic. I tell you, I can't. You have to, and really quickly. There's another you, and she... Wait, how did you know? Look at me. After I froze your mother... What have you done to her? Big finish. We love stories. Do you remember when I wanted to bunk off school to see... What film was it? E.T. No. Beverly Hills Cop? No. Ghostbusters? No. Footloose? No. Let's face it, you did bunk off a lot. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm trying to remember if Bert Burner's Crimson is in it. I, if he's not, he really should have been. What? Why didn't they get him? I'm surprised. Guess not. No. Okay. Well, I, I mean, you don't really notice he's not in it until I just asked this one. That. So, yeah, that is uh, 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 my uh, number two um, big finish release of the year. Number one release of the year. How do I get to it? Um, hmm. I know. I just do this. There you go. And you can get one episode of this for free. It's really fantastic. Susan's War. Susan's War, my favorite uh, big finish release of the year. This is what Susan does in the Time War. It's got a cameo in it from the Eighth Doctor, uh, Paul McGann. It's got uh, William Russell in it. Uh, it. And it ties into, yeah, the, the way they're treating the Time War is kind of like a patchwork. And each box set is part of that patchwork, and this is that uh, uh, part of that, uh, that box set. It's a uh, that patchwork. I'd say it's um, uh, again. It's a, so Caroline Ford uh, Susan's had an interesting uh, character arc in it. She's uh, um, it's stuck with with the Eighth Doctor. If you want to go backtrack, it, it goes. Oh, how do I how do I find them? It's uh, I think an, an, earth, an earthly child at the first one. Oh, why don't I just do this? Caroline Ford. One second. We'll... Let's go back. We'll do... Um... We'll do... Uh, what was it? Uh, oldest first. There you yeah, go. I should do it. Fine. So I'm about... Yeah. So, uh, by the way, this, uh, this box set... Uh, it... Oh, is this is free. It's worth getting. Um this box set, the uh, first Doctor's story is really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, she's th her first Ace Doctor one is called An Earthly Child, where he goes and meets her again when uh, uh, he's uh, uh, when she's older and he has a kid. It's like, yeah, post Dalek invasion of Earth. Uh, this is kind of, and then you see a relative dimension that comes back again, Christmas episode. I do think something tragic happens to him in uh, Lucy, Lucy Miller and To the Death, which also happens to 
Lucy Miller, which I, I'm pretty sure he gets killed, right? Um, which is old news. It's not really really a spoiler. But that, so yeah, so that, I think that uh, pretty much finishes her. Oh yeah, so then you got this Time War one where she's uh, where she volunteers to join the Time War, which was supposed to be her last episode. It's called All Hands on Deck. Uh, and then, yeah, so then you got Susan's War. So Susan's War, uh, that yeah, they're like these like Casablanca-esque uh, uh, espionage cells. Uh, Gallifrey needs every Time Lord in the fight of the Time War uh, to fight the Time War. As someone's been sent out across the universe to protocols, where uh, whatever their skills of war, if we can use them. So Susan Paul Paper has arrived, and like her grandfather, she's willing to join uh, people in ba and, and battle and find and return home because Susan knows the Daleks, and she knows it's her duties. First episode, fit sphere of influence. Susan's first mission is one of diplomacy. The sense sphere uh, could prove uh, a, a valuable ally to Gat Gallifrey, but she is not the only one uh, who, who knows the sense for itself. Susan uh, will have the support of an old friend. Ian Cheston is about, uh, about to return, uh, uh, re uh, rejoin her, and, uh, and, yeah, he re re yeah, rejoin the adventure he left a lifetime ago. Absolutely lovely. So you get old, you get old in, right? It's lovely. You can so see you got uh, uh, William Russell playing his age, and also you got uh, uh, Caroline Ann Ford playing her age. And it's, it, it, they, they st they're still the same characters, and it's get oh, it's just beautiful here. Uh, and I'm certain sure uh, Simon Goria uh, wrote this. Susan, uh, first one wrote was written by uh, Eddie Robson. Susan and Commander Velkin are on a trail of a spy undercover on a ravaged world. The um, they find a weary population trapped and waiting for the inevitable. But uh, one, uh, one of them is afraid that the time war is coming to Floriana. Susan must struggle to uh, to simply survive. Yeah, this is again really beautiful story. It's a uh, uh, it's kind of like fatalistic story. They know the, like the end's coming, and there's not there's again. You can see everything like kind of fall apart. Uh, and, and you know, it's it's like with, it deals with betrayals, and it's absolutely lovely. Really, really lovely story. Um, Assets of War by Lou Morgan. I, think, I didn't know she wrote for this. Uh, Car uh, Colonel Rasmus believes, like, yeah, you'll see these characters appear uh, throughout the other Time War uh, sets. Colonel Rasmus believes that Susan's uh, special abilities will help her uh, assess a, uh, a new weapons project a secret on a secret military base. Uh, creatures from the Vortex are being bred for war. Gallery scientists think they can be used as assets against the Daleks, but the Oroviks are not easily, uh, easily tamed. I think that's the one with Paul McGann in it. I think it's one. I can't remember. Maybe season two. Uh, I do remember it's an interesting story, though. Uh, then final story about Alan Boss's sword. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, this is great. When, uh, uh, was it? When Susan's TARDIS is intercepted, she's, uh, she's given a highly classified mission. On Earth 1963 is a nexus in the next point in the time war, but the timeline's must be uh, be negotiated carefully. Mods and rockers are not the only ones uh, are not the only dangers on the streets of Shoreditch. In, Su in Susan's past, the darks are waiting, but so is the Doctor. Yeah, so yeah, so she's basically got to avoid uh, uh, the first Doctor in it. So re again, fantastic little story. Absolutely love this one. Uh, so yeah, that's my my the, my best release of the year my, uh, from Big Finish. I would recommend strongly recommend it. So it's a it's a good one. Have a quick look, see what the chat's been look, uh, talking about. There we go. It's uh, uh um, just one second. A year for the character uh, characters that actually start listening to us. Why? What are they building? There's so many things I want to character options to do. Um, okay, it doesn't look like I missed anything. It doesn't look like I missed anything. Uh, huge missed opportunity during the Capodius was not having a meet up with his great. Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, that wouldn't be, we would have been like, yeah, I still want to believe that we're going to see more. Uh, uh Capaldi, I uh, hope he'll, he'll do a big finish. Let's, let's talk about uh, the bottom three releases. Bottom three releases said it was a bad couple of months, <laughs> it really was. Uh, so we go over here. Uh, let's go for the. Uh... Are they all in this one? Yeah! Whoa! Oh, this is not good. Recent first. They're all Seventh Doctor stories, right? The worst are all Seventh Doctor stories. He got. He had a bad run, right? He had a bad run. So, uh, uh, num number three worst story is this one. Uh, Dark Universe. 
Uh, this was supposed to be about the capture of, uh, of was it the seven or the nine, whatever they called him. Um, Jess, wasn't that good? Was really quite dis disappointingly bad. So uh, it was, uh, um, should have been an epic, like four part mini series. Uh, had those, like, there's yeah, too much going on to make it really work, right? The uh, second worst release of the year, Psychic Circus. Truly awful, truly awful. Uh, uh, and you get the feeling Big Finish wanted to shoot themselves because they got, uh, 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 what's his name, playing the master, and they he said that he thinks penises make you male or something crazy. So now now he's blackballed from Big Finish. He can never work with them for them again. Uh, uh, it, it's just the, insane, the insanity of the world today. But the story is absolutely awful. Uh, I loved Greatest Show in the Galaxy. This is the prequel to it. Uh, and it just... It, Fails on every single level because in Reddington doesn't do, have a, the they can't do the physicality with it because what's the name Stephen White didn't actually write anything in the script. Mostly it was his incredible uh, performance that that made that character work so well. Um, what's it called again? Um, uh, in Reddington, yeah, in Reddington. It, it, so the uh, Christian, yes, nothing really comes together about this story at all. Uh, you can't work out if it's a prequel or a sequel. Uh, it, 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 the master's in it pointlessly. It's just garbage. It's hot, hot garbage. Um, really, really strongly dislike it. Let me find the worst release of the year. Worst release of the year coming up. Worst release of the year, I believe, is this month's release. Uh, no, before that. By the way, this was also awful. Not quite the worst, but yeah, the doc, uh, Six Doctor and Perry, freaking awful. Full of like 2020 political nonsense, uh, uh, badly done, badly done. Wait, did I just miss it? I think I missed it. Is it this month? Here we go. Flying Dutchman. Flying Dutchman is such an, an offense to. Uh, uh, oh, did we need to go out? Because. Uh, there we go. That's better. I, I'm actually surprised. I mean, that last one has been going out all day today. Uh, um, this is. Do I have a trailer? We'll, we'll play the trailer because it's so bad. It's so bad. Might as well stop, keep stopping and take the piss out of it. From Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, The Flying Dutchman, and Displaced. The Flying Dutchman is a glowing, ghostly ship. One that can never make port. But I do want to say, this is not just the worst release of the year. This is the worst release Big Finish have ever done. It is, it is Jody level bad. It is astonishingly bad. Doomed to sail the seas forever. Why did it sound like ghost? What's happening? Readying the artillery, sir. Good. Let's hit them with everything we've got. Let them go or you don't want to know where I'll put this sword. <laughs> no, mine. Bring her around. The wind's too strong. We're gonna lose her. You really are a man lover, aren't you? I'm a big fan of dry land, and that's what you mean. They're evil spirits, Captain. Throw them overboard. That's too good for them. Cut their throat. So steady on, fellas. She knew a parry me. Watch the yard arm. Slopes, no lava, so far, so good. Earth, yeah, forget it. So, okay, so the plot of it, and I'm gonna spoil it completely for you because it's worth spoiling. Uh, they arrive on this ship, um, and it's got a cabin boy there who's clearly a woman. Uh, and then she says, she reveals to Ace that she's a woman about halfway through. I'm like, well, didn't everybody know? I don't know. And so she wanted to go and sell the seeds so she could because it wasn't fair. Because boys got to and women didn't, because they she was oppressed in the 17th century, because that's what oppression was like. Yeah, yeah. What was what exactly was a woman's life life like? Was it any better? It was actually better than having to go to sea. Men didn't women didn't do hazardous labor, which involved sailing, you know. They thought that was wrong of, of them. Anyway, so eventually the uh, uh um she she ends up in uh, in command of the ship or near enough, because uh, she's the bestest ever. And when the doctor leaves, she isn't gang raped by a bunch of horny sailors, which is clearly what would have happened. Um, 
so uh, uh, um, uh, intermingled with this, we have one guy having an idea to get a ship and cover it with phosphorus so it'll appear like a ghost ship, and the people on it also covered in phosphorus so they'll look like ghosts so they can scare them and steal the ship or some bull crap. You know, essentially what it was. It was awful. Um, it was a, 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 a abomination, I would say. An abomination. Uh, 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 yeah, it's the worst thing they've ever done. Well, speaking of abominations, oh, now they, well, I mean, they got rid of the, uh, 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 oh, my God. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. They put it all on the front page. I was going to do the Jody Whittaker interview. How do I get the more interviews? Okay, if I click this one, maybe I'll go to. Maybe it will take me to more big RT interviews. Uh, maybe I'll do sci-fi. Let's check there. Okay. Okay. So her interviews there. But fine, let's have a quick look how long this is compared to the other story, which I'm like, yes, I want to look at this. So we got Live Listen the Dalek is very emotional. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so emotional I am. But I'm a big strong girl. I'm like just like a man. I can do whatever a man can because I'm big and strong. Yes, you are, Jody. I'm big and strong. Oh, let's have a look and see what this other article is. Why is Doctor Who uh, tackling mental health issues? We're all asking the same bloody question. Is this a new one? Yes, it is. Blimey. Oh, this is tomorrow's video, maybe. See how long it is. How much are they going to slap me out of this? Oh, God. Okay. That looks painful. That looks painful. We'll do the Jodie Whittaker one instead. Yep, that yeah, went the wrong way. Uh, if I go over here, oh, it should take me down. There's our interview. There we go. We found it. Jody Whittaker talks lockdown, Daleks, and emotional Doctor Who season 13 filming. Okay, Joe's. Let's say the 13th Doctor returns on New Year's Day for Revolution of the Daleks, which is going to have revolutionally low uh, uh, ratings. Jo Jody Whittaker's Doctor. Oh, God. God just, how do we get to a bloody answer? Him? Okay, I gotta go through this to get there. Oh, uh, this says telling us crap about them. I'm not reading that. Hi, Jody. Let me just suck your cock. Um ooh, you got that's so stunning and brave. Uh you filmed Doctor Who special in uh you filmed this special in 2019 before lockdown. Has it been as strange to wait this long for it to be uh, uh long to release it? That wouldn't have changed. Lockdown didn't change that. You're an idiot, full of it. Well, it uh, it was very much before we wrapped things up on Halloween, I think. Um, uh, the week of... Oh God, this is boring. The week of Halloween. So uh, I think it was a good year ago we wrapped it. Okay. You, can, you, you just can't predict what a year it's been. And you're like, God, I can't believe we had no idea it was going to go. Really? Really? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. This is a brain trust, isn't she? Uh, and with Brad and Tolson leaving, that's what a lot uh, that's a long time to know. Okay, whatever, uh, long time to know that. Yeah, we all knew it. We all knew it. Was it difficult to keep the departure secret? Well, it must have been because you didn't, like, we all knew about it. Uh, uh, I'm probably gonna throw myself under the bus here, but I feel like I'm usually quite good at not saying anything. Oh, god, if only that was true. If only, if only you didn't say anything. You suck at not saying anything. We all want you to not say anything. You say too much. Um, but it's really weird because we're back filming. My family and we're like, give my love to Mandy. It tells him Brad. And I go, yeah, yeah, okay. But I just start sobbing. Oh, dear. It makes you feel. Yeah, listen. They want you to get away from this, this utter train wreck of a TV show. You should be thanking them. Well, it's a bloody brain dead. You would be. Oh my god! It uh, it makes you like uh, it makes you feel like it's long. T it's a long time ago, but uh, it makes you feel it's a long time ago for that. It is a long time. It's a year ago. Oh, 
How has she not been strangled? Um, I'm not advocating uh, violence on women, of course. Uh, um, but then it's no time as well. Okay, that's what uh, that's what's so interesting when when uh, when you do come back to work, having not seen the crew, having not seen anybody for a year, it's uh, it's it's home in so many ways. Oh, God, she's so boring. You're back from a 13 with restriction. What's it been like? Uh, when the studio at the moment with all the crew, and that's strange in of itself. Oh, uh, and it feels like it's become such a most sad time, and it's continuing on, and we can't take it for granted, and we can't, you know, not be vigilant. Oh, yeah, I, I they often put ask me to put my head in a giant bag of of, uh, of uh, human excrement. Really, yes, they say human excrement. Keeps me away from any viruses. Really, it's wonderful. There, they often ask me to put my head in it. All oh, right, it, does it affect your acting? No, um, but more than that, uh, I think we know that lives are precious. Oh, you, you know that, do you? Blimey! Uh, and we've always known that a career is a very precious. Oh, God, well, I hope yours isn't. You just destroyed it. And things like that. I, I love that she has no clue. She sucks at this so hard. But I think, but I think filming now. And I think the festive episode is they're uh, world apart, but it's also such a big comfort. I adore the show. No, you don't. You don't even know the first thing about it. You hate it. Thank God I had this come back. To, oh, no, you adore the job. You adore, adore the job. Uh, well, enjoy it because you're not getting many more of these. Let me tell you. God, how much more does she go on for? Okay, not for, not for. I can make it. I can make it through. Okay. Fine. Uh, the episode sees Doctor locked up and far away from her friends. Yes, she longs for the exciting action or being able to sit around a kitchen table and look glum. That's yeah, like yeah, that's a, that's a high stakes action. Everybody says, "Oh, it's going to be a bit dour, a bit bittersweet, a bit yeah." Okay, why don't they just say a bit shit? That's what it's going to be. Uh, looks away. Which already present? Will the viewers be able to relate? Oh God! Is there any way this this could be a softer ball question, right? I mean, I, I think it's going to explode on on contact and turn into pure water. It's so soft; it's basically just surface tension. E, let's see if let's see if the brain trust can answer it. E, I think so. I uh, I uh, they, they they'll relate to it because they won't watch it. But hopefully they uh they were in more comfort than the doctor is. <laughs> I think that the fact is we meet the doctor in this way is really interesting. Yes, we've never seen a doctor quite so incredibly shit as you before who couldn't break out of a freaking prison. Really? Oh, God. You are. The, I mean, the other doctors probably had you, like, uh, uh, arrested. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Seth so McCoy's doctor just had you locked up there for a few years to keep you out of bloody trouble while they fix the mess that you made of everything. Because you are that shit. And they knew you wouldn't be able to escape. You know how they knew you wouldn't be able to escape? Because you are shit. You know? I'm just telling you this because I love you. Right? You know, I think you don't think anybody should shit shield you from the truth. You're just shit. Um, you know, I should turn my camera off for this. <laughs> um, uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, obviously, it's very different for my doctor and every doctor. And the episode of the specials that I've been involved with, in what? Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, usually, we kind of come uh, come to things as a team. Oh God, God, she's so boring. She's so boring, and saying nothing. Yes, I understand. You're oh, God. We come to things as a team. I drive the bus, and they do the work. Um, and it's very much not about that at the start. Uh, and that brings, brings its challenges. It brings its revelations as people strengthen weaknesses. Oh, I think there's no uh, exploration with the doctor. I think there's no end of explanation with the doctor. Well, your doctor, if you start in such a vulnerable position. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is there any way you can make this hero into less of a hero? What's your, been your experience in lockdown? Who cares? Um... People ask me what I do, and it's a real time machine. Uh, and I know, uh, and now I know. I go back and watch 17 gigs. What's that? What's 17 gigs? I was really lucky because I, uh, I was really lucky because my nearest and dearest were, weren't, par weren't poorly, but I've missed uh, being in a crowd. My head was noisier than ever. 
bloody hell. Being stuck at home with just two, uh, one or two people. I realize that I'm quite a high maintenance. Really? You realize that, are you? Re I, I, you know how high maintenance you are? They gave you a 50-plus-year-old a franchise to play with, and you broke it, and you're angry with it. Uh, that, that's how much high maintenance you are. Uh, and it wasn't enough of you. Your head is noisier than ever. Okay, darling, darling. How many voices do you have in your head right now? Is it enough to sing a barbershop quartet? What the hell's going on? If you if your head's noise, you need medication and you shouldn't be acting. You should be in a straitjacket. Uh, I'm just telling you this because I love you. Okay, baby. Love you, baby. You're the best. Um my head was noisy and ever being stuck in. I didn't want to be. I realized I was quite I made I had to tell myself, Jody, some things could be an inner monologue. Oh God, we wish we wish. We wish everything what you said was an inner monologue. Uh, so you're back from one of the Daleks for this episode. So what's it like to act with them? God, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Do you need to be the boring as fuck in the universe? Really? Do you need? I mean, I get it that you're a pussy boy. I understand that you are a human vagina made for the BBC and most uh, notably Chris Chimnall to fuck. That's what you exist for. Right, you are, uh, 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 and you must keep yourself lubricated for them at all times, right? So you may pleasure them with your very essence. But must you be such a flaccid faggot about it? What's it like to act with a doll and put some bloody work into it? Oh, brilliant! It's brilliant acting with that. For a start, obviously, there are CGI, the bits where CGI was used, and I had to pretend they weren't there. And it was all oh, very confusing. It took me about four days to work that out. I use uh, there. There are spaces where they're facing off, and we have uh, and we have the actor present. Okay, and we have everything given to us. God, yes, you have. You've had like yes, your light life, everything good. And so you're thrown back into the past, and then you're thrown forward to our version of Daleks as well. Oh, aren't, you, aren't they wonderful? It's really exciting thing. To, it's really it's a really exciting thing. I think the Doctor. Uh, I think for uh, I think for the doctor, it never fails to be one of the ultimate challenges. Full stop. So they they I guess they meet then. And she's saying, uh, "Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there." John Barrowman has his own Dalek in L.A. and uh, home in L.A. Have you ever been tempted to take one home for yourself as a souvenir? Take home a Dalek as a souvenir? You stupid idiot! He bought it. What do you th okay, I know Matt Stevens made these so he could shove them up his ass. Oh, Matthew, Matthew, is it is it sleek and sexy, just like you like it? The black and strong, you know, it can turn blue. Oh, red. Oh, Matthew. Uh, yeah, we understand. But he didn't shove one up his ass and bring it home. He bought one, you moron. So let's see what the moron says. Yeah, it's a uh, it was a very big sounding. No, you're not allowed. Really? She actually did. Right there. Is it a struggle not to bring home at one over there? Yes, it was. It was very big sounding. Uh, but it was a very big sound. You're not allowed. Uh, but when I'm quite sneaky, but I'm quite sneaky, and I've got some really, I, I got something really cool that I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna, I'm treasuring that forever. For one of the episodes. Readers, please don't burgle me. What the hell? Uh, the interviews are a Christmas issue, so I should ask, in an ideal world, without restrictions, do you prefer a big or small Christmas? My Christmas is a very extreme... Oh, God, you know, she thinks she's a character. She's not. There's nothing worse than when boring people think they're interesting, isn't there? Uh, my Christmas is extreme. My family does... Uh, a really small one, but my uh, every, uh, every other year, my American Christmas uh, is, is family is massive. American Christmas sucks ass. I'm sorry if you're American, love you. Uh, Thanksgiving's nice. Christmas is your Christmas sucks ass. You just have sport on TV. There's no good food. You don't have mince pies. American Christmas sucks ass. Um, I also do life of Christmas with my best. Uh, I also do Life of Christmas with my bestest girlfriend. Me and Yaz get together and we touch our vaginas. Really? Yes, we do. Oh, we will be sipping in the TARDIS. Oh, uh, I just slipped into the all there. You uh, don't want to slip into him. Um, which has got bigger over the years. We just added our other halves and kids. Oh, you poor bastard. You go along. Uh, the most precious thing 
the most basic thing in it in the world to me it's really tough we could uh we can't do or do this uh we can't do that this year okay uh what have we got oh, who gives a shit what have we got planned just as long as there's on christmas tunes on et uh, i'm not gonna put whatever god shut up i don't care i don't care i don't care oh god i can't stand it so miscast ah uh, fine okie dokie let's see what's going on then uh oh let's do the prize yeah man okay well you know what let me as we're here i haven't done this for ages let's uh let's pull this up all right doink let's go over here um I went there. <sighs> slow slow there you go that's what i was looking for that's what i was looking for Well, that opens up. If you have hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. I would like my I would like more subscribers. I have a subscriber whore. I will admit it. I will admit it free, freely. I will admit it clearly. I would like more subscribers. You know what? I also like you to do. Uh, uh, click the link. Click the link in the video notes. Click the link in the video notes. Uh, and uh, um, uh, uh, go check out my Indiegogo. Uh, I'm building up my email list for it right now. Second, I really should. I really want to launch this sooner rather than later. I was thinking, hope maybe if we can do it this week. I doubt it. January, I guess it'll be, it'll be uh, better be January. I do. Um, I press this thing over here. I go over here. This was what. This is what they want. This is what they want. Share that. There you go. You get one of these very very tasteful art cards. Let me. I'll even remove this so you can see it clearer. You get one of these very tasteful art cards in. For the male gaze, for the male gaze uh, um, uh, range, of course, we have the James Bond. You won't keep the British end up. But -da 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 -da. what are you doing, Bond? Keeping the British end up, sir. Uh, we got the uh, party like it's 1999. Down, bound to down, bound to down. Yes, uh, 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 it's uh, Xenia, whatever her name was. Uh, the artist has a pretty similar uh, taste in, in, in girlies to me. So he always makes them a little bit chunky. I was trying to make them you know, more. Uh, uh, may try and make it for, for a different male gaze. Couldn't do it. I still find it hot. Uh, uh, this one is excellent. I really like this one. Uh, don't even think it's a, a nice Judge Dreddy one. Uh, you know what? It's always worth, always worth doing a bit of a zoom in, doing a bit of a zoom in. Because, uh, uh, you know, I just think her, her lips and nipples uh, are absolutely perfect. F fantastic rendition there, uh, Dominic. Fantastic rendition. Love it. Love it, baby. Yeah, camera loves you. Camera loves you. And of course, my absolute favorite. My absolute favorite. No hanky panky in the TARDIS. Uh, if only there is no hanky panky, unless you're in my mind. My <laughs> uh, So please do uh, 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 go click the. Uh, 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 not one for the gays. Not one for the male gays. So that that's going to be cards five and six. Uh, no, six and seven. Five is going to be Diana Troy on the Enterprise. That's going to be a Chaser card and Charles card six and seven of the campaign wells will be Turlo. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll guess I'll let a uh, 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 problem being decide. Maybe Sting from Doom as he steps out the shower. Um, thank you. Oh, thank you for put, put, putting in the chat. Kiss Chris Persia. So if I say, let's do the the, pri the prize. The prize is a good one. Uh, the prize is uh, the rabbi from another planet. Christmas stocking. And it's, it's been a very, very, very popular one. A very popular one. Indeed, let's see. Uh, uh, some Tarrant Bar was here. Uh, anybody else is here? Kev L. Uh, Peter Richards. Let's have a see. Wow, this is a lot of people. A lot of people have, uh, have applied for this one. Okay. Ooh. Um, several times by the looks of it. Okay, here we go. Fine, let's go through what the prize is. What the prize is. Uh, it is uh, many things. This was a Christmas stocking I was putting together, uh, filled with goodies, filled with goodies for your pleasure. Uh, it is ribbed for your pleasure, the stocking, of course. Uh, we have Judge Dread, Justice One, Judge Dread on Justice One. A good, like, sci fi Judge Dread story. Kind of a guy, I do enjoy this one. Uh, we have uh, Quantum of Solace on Blu ray. Oh, uh, one person wins all this Quantum of Solace on Blu ray. Very exciting. We have uh, uh, Red Dwarf Back to Earth. On DVD, Red Wolf, Back to Earth on DVD. 
We have um, on PS3, James Bond Legends. Kind of a fun shooting me up James Bondy game. Uh, uh, although they're all, all Daniel Craig. However, they do play different. All the, he does do Sean Connery played by Daniel Craig. It's weird. Uh, you have Star Trek, J.J. Uh, Abrams. Kind of, kind of like the game. Uh, I, I, I like I like the J.J. Abrams aesthetic as well, quite frankly. We have Melvin Stone, Melvin Stone, starring uh, uh, Nicola Bryant, uh, uh, The Axe Man Cometh. Uh, audio story, a full class audio drama. We have a book on tape Highlander, uh, Kurgan Rising. There can be only two, including Kurgan. Uh, we have Countermeasures, Countermeasures, uh, The Mavella Maneuver, uh, a, a fine countermeasure story. And finally, we have oh, no, finally, and then we have um, uh, Dark Shadows, uh, Kingdom of the Dead. This is a good Christmas stocking. We have, oh man, I put a lot of stuff in it. The Mechanical Planet, the a very rare adaptation of a 1960s Dalek story um, on, on CD. And finally, we have the Nth Doctor, a history of all the Doctors, uh, uh, all the Doctor Who movies that never got made, never got made. And you know what? There's been a lot of interest in this. So you know what? I'm going to do segments on this because I have another copy. I will do vid uh, videos on Doctor Who's that never happened. Maybe I'll do an uh, illustration for. Fine. So let's uh, let's roll the thing. Well, oh, where do we get? How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Let's roll. Everybody, by the way, everybody go go subscribe with, with, with the Wings channel. I do like it. Roll the thing. Roll the thing. And the winner is Tardis time. Tardis time. Tardis time. Tardis time. Having a good time. Tardis time. So, uh, uh, well done, well done. Uh, 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 congratulations. Get in contact with me uh, with your. Are you in the chat? Let me see if he's in the chat. I think I saw him earlier, didn't I? Um, if he's not in the chat, I will get in contact. I, I see him all the time. Uh, I will get getting get get in contact with him. Uh, yeah. So I think we're going to do a, a, a segments on on Doctor Who stories that never happened. Like uh, I got there's some good Daryl Joyce illustrations as well from Doctor Who magazine. Um, Fine, uh, I say, uh, yeah, say hello, Tardis Time. Um, was it? Uh, uh, I got uh, Canis from the uh, Thailand Canon TV series. What's that say? He used to be hunting dogs like a boss. Said, okay. Uh, I lost my word. I'm terribly sorry. There can be only one. There can be only one. Uh, I got a batch of bunch of stuff. I got a mail out now. And I, so I should really, really get 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 on that. Um, I think is there anything anybody want in the chat? Anybody would like me to? Uh, 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 wow, that's really weird. What's this thing? Add to stream. I'm intrigued. Remove. Okay. Oh, it's me sharing a screen that wasn't there anymore. Fine. Is there anything in the chat? Anybody wants me? Let's have a quick look before I leave. Let's look at Bounding in the comics. See if anything is new is there. Share screen, bounding into comics. Yes, see if there's any news. Bounding. No, nothing new, nothing new. Uh, yeah, the comic book industry is ending. Uh, that, oh, my God, it's awful. Patty Jenkins, why is Wonder Woman 3 is in jeopardy already? Get the hell out of it. Should be. It was awful. Uh, oh, so, yeah, no, it's not in jeopardy. Leave us alone. This was, this was from December 24th. Forget it. Old news, old news. Um, yeah, don't really care, don't really care. Fine, nothing's going on, nothing's going on. I'm going to bid you all adieu then. I'll uh, see you fairly well. Uh, see you back in through comic uh, regeneration. Uh, I, I, I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, okay. Uh, through joint regeneration. Oh, wait, you did, you, you did a comic called... Put it in the chat. If you have it in the chat, put, put the link in the chat if you have it. Um... Is your hat included in the stocking? No, it is not. I keep that myself. I do like that. Fine. That's it. That's it. I'm going to have dinner. That's my plan. That's my plan. I don't care. I'm going to wish you all a pleasant festive uh, festive holiday, festive time. Uh, uh, my name is Sula Beckham. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you're subscribed. Please still subscribe. Uh, uh, please check your subscribe. Hit the Amber Broadcast button. 